Earlier this year we came across a very interesting video, portraying potential paranormal activity in a nearby town. After contacting the owner of the footage, he told us about an incident that would take us on a journey we never seen coming. This is that journey. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing and I wasn't expecting and so I, I don't know. It, it didn't seem like a big huge cleansing for me, <laughs> but it was just it seemed fairly simple for me. But it's funny, eh, how things you think not a whole lot of and then it just you know becomes this bigger <laughs> bigger thing. We're headed over there right like, now. All right, guys, we're at our next adventure. The Oak Lodge in Grem Bend. Stories said that this place is haunted. gonna try and get in here but I'm not hundred percent sure if we will be able to so nobody really knows the true story of what happened here but we have heard that it got so bad that they basically just shut her down and never did anything with it. It's been standing like this ever since it shut down. We don't know the exact date. There's not much information on this place. It's almost like the, the city just decided to forget about it. Unfortunately, it's all boarded up. Windows are, no windows open. Don't see any way of getting up there. Unless we had a ladder. Any uh, readings? All right, guys, we're gonna run the EMF meter. Now this is a an abandoned building, so there shouldn't be anything running through it. Now, oh, got a six and a five up by the sign right here. One, five, seven. Fifteen. I took this to an electric box in the I took it to a box in the back. No. There's an exposed light socket up there, but again, this building has been abandoned for a while. Nobody's lived in it. It's not maintained. Well not not to the point where somebody would be looking after it all the time. All the zeros. And you'd be getting something around here if it's it's right here. Oh, something on the 
door too. Yep. What I was saying on my video, I said this place was so haunted they just picked up and left. And they they couldn't even tear it down. They just left it as it was. Somebody obviously looks after it once in a while, but nobody's here maintaining it every day. Oh. I don't know. This has something significant to do with the with the spirit. The 1898. Yeah. Or it could just be standing on the other side of this wall. Unfortunately, we can't get in to do any further investigation right now. Said, like the stories are, are you know crazy said, like, they just picked up and left it was so haunted but yeah and if you come around to the side over here yeah. there's a a box with cords running in it i tried to put it up to the box i didn't get any reading so i don't think there's and like there's a electric cord right there these, these aren't exposed you know, it's not good anything that's it Yeah, I can see in if I press my camera right to the window. But anyway, since we can't get in to do a full investigation, guys, we're not gonna. You know, the stories are out there. We're not gonna stake our name on it. Yeah. We can get in there and figure out stuff. But... Somebody does own this place, so maybe, uh, maybe we'll look into it. Yeah, maybe we'll try to get permission to get inside next time. I'll have to figure out who owns it. Maybe Oakwood still owns it. Maybe we'll head over to Oakwood Resort. And uh, see if they still own it. So, uh, first, first thing that happened here was this thing here. No, it was this temperature reading for the M&M cooler. Okay. So it sat up here. So 
I'm sitting here just doing my thing and I, and I, and I hear this. I heard that. Oh yeah. I look over and it's lit up and there's a number on there. I don't remember the number. I just brushed it off as you know, like a smoke detector. I'm yeah, like, malfunction or something. And a week later, I was out mopping the floor, and I hear this. I heard that. Like I'm a like, scan, yeah. Like my kid, he knows how to scan things, but I'm like, okay, well, there's nobody in the store. And that's the only time this has happened. I've been yeah. here three years, that's never happened. I, was, I wasn't freaked out, but I mean, what the hell is going on? Yeah. First that, and a week later, this thing. And then, I believe it was the pump of that Jeep. So that was the next thing. And then people said, well, it's, you know, it's probably from the wind. Yeah. I'm like, I've been here three years. Yeah. It's been windy more than just one day. Yeah, especially down here by the water, right? And that's never happened. The other three hoses weren't moving at all. Mm -hmm. And then, see those carrot candies right there? These ones? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. That was the next thing that happened. Yeah. I don't know if I showed you that video or not. I've seen the two videos you posted on Facebook. One was something falling off a rack, and, and then, that. yeah, one was the gas pump coming and out. And that was the one where we were close. Yeah. So how did you find out that that thing fell out? So I came in and grabbed a copy, and Joni says, morning girl, she says, when you get a chance, look at the camera from last night. Yeah. We go, okay, so why not? I'm like, boop. Didn't fall all day long. Mm-hmm. We're closed. The alarm didn't go off. The motion says you just nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. Nothing happened before I like, saw the sun moving. Yeah. Out. And nothing happened and since. I found, and I found his Ouija board. 